Hello Lionel Train fans, welcome back again to the Train Zone. We have the number 97 coal elevator. These are pretty simple. I got this guy from a gentleman who's uh, rewired the controller. This is a 97C controller. Uh, this is used, I know, on the log loader and probably some other accessories. It has an on-off switch to turn this guy on and off and the unload button. And then the controller, this 97C, this guy was missing an insulator. Now these things have to have an insulator in here between the bottom plate between the bottom plate and the middle plate, there has to be an insulator because of the way that it's wired. And when you turn this guy on, here, I'll turn the switch on. There it goes on and off, on and off. So without the insulator, all three contacts were touching together. And then the dump chute was always dumping. That solenoid was always operating as the elevator was loading coal up to the top, so it was never able to hold coal in the top. And the reason that that, that, that was happening is the way the switch is wired. So I, I took it apart, looked at it, did some uh, research, looked at my uh, coal, or, or looked at my log loader, and this is what I found, is that the, the, the top plate of metal is supposed to give the motor power. The middle plate is where you run the power to, and then the bottom, it supplies, supplies the power to the dump, the dump chute up at the top. So there needs to be an insulating disc on the on-off side tabs between the middle and the top. So that's what I did. I repaired this controller, cut a little piece of plastic, out of a plastic vitamin container, and it was the perfect width, slid it in there, it needed to be a little bit uh, a little bit tight, and I'll just show you what it was. It was a little Walmart container. Cut this lid apart with my uh, dikes. Cut a little chunk of plastic out of that. The first thing I did is I tried one of these little coffee stir sticks, a little piece of insulator, a uh, piece of wood from there, and it was too loose. So with this guy repaired, now I can operate the buckets, raising coal to the top, and the dump chute isn't operating. And one thing that you should know, these wires, if the flat ribbon cable is correctly soldered in, let's say it's factory, and the way the manual says, when they come out one, two, three, that's how you wire it up on your accessory. And the accessories that Lionel made are all like that. So here we go to the side, one, two, three, which is how they're numbered. And if someone were to lay the ribbon cable on there backwards and it was wired up 3, 2, 1, and of course 2 is always the same in the center, then what happens according to the Greenberg service manual is that the accessory will still work, but the unload feature will not work unless the on switch is actuated. And the way this should work is that once, once transformer power is hooked up to this guy, Let's say you were hooking up to these terminals. The wires weren't coming into the bottom like they are on mine, you know, so they're hidden. Your unload feature up here in the chute should work regardless of if the device is loading coal up to the top or not. So this one being repaired, now the next step that I'm going to do, I'll throw the backpack on this guy. I'm going to leave this wire on here. I don't care how it looks. Um, for right now. I'm going to uh, just put the back on this guy. I tested it. She's working great. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, the tensioning on this. Now this chain, why is it so loose? I don't know. I have no idea. I got a really good price on this, but I know that with one link, if I take this and just am able to grab one link, I can twist it 90 degrees and tension up the chain without even grabbing the tensioner at the top without even pulling on it at all. And looking in this Greenberg service manual, there's no mention of a tensioner. 
there's not even a parts diagram in there. There's a wiring diagram, but it's, it's not very detailed. I think there's more detail out there somewhere. So let me adjust this just a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit for you. Take it back just a little. Now, if I tug on this chain up here at the top, there's a, there's a spring here and then a, a spring on the other side. So both of these springs are pushing in on these pieces of plastic, which are tapered on the inside to keep the spring in the center. So if I start tugging on this guy, you can see those things going out. This is the chain tensioner. And I just kind of stumbled upon it. That'd be all the way in if it was as tight as it could go. So then this is somewhere in the middle. But I have no idea why this chain is so loose. Maybe it was uh, one too many links at the factory. I can't imagine that it's that worn. I, I looked at the links. They don't appear war at all. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a link out of this chain. I'm going to oil some things up and then we'll test this guy out. All right, folks, I've removed one link out of the 97 coal elevator chain here. Got the one link out of there. It looks like it's in the sweet spot. So if I push on this tension here, you can see up in there, it's kind of right in the middle. It looks like the tension's going to be great. Let me zoom you back. All the other way. So I'll show you how it looks from the side. This little rickety tripod I have here. Got it for free. Can't complain about that. So you can see this thing's looking really, really good. So I think that it definitely needed that link taken out of there. And now the buckets aren't going to be rubbing on the bottom. These buckets, they used to rub on this bottom frame. And that's going to be done. That's a done deal. And I did uh, want to mention that on this little guy, when I put the insulator in there, I put some little dabs of the black silicone, some Permatex black silicone on this yellow piece of plastic in here. I did glue it in place. It's not just laying in there. These are uh, black silicone dabs there holding that guy. All right, I still need to lube this thing up. I need to clean the motor, get the guy completely restored and oiled, and then we'll move some coal when I get done with that. Okay, I've cleaned the motor and it's all lubed up, lubed up all the pivots and the gears on the Lionel 97 post-war coal elevator here. Let's kick it on. Let's see how she's sounding. That's pretty loud. Way too loud. I think we can get that a little bit quieter. I'm at least going to try to. What I saw when I had this guy apart is the top or the uh, bearing plate at the armature end of the motor was wore. So the armature was sliding around the tip of it inside of here. So I've obtained this uh, reproduction part. We're going to install this and let's see if it quiets it down. All right, we've got the motor removed from the bottom here. I wanted to show you how loose this really is. All this play I believe is making all that noise. So I'm going to replace this top bearing plate. All right, I have the new part installed and this guy gave me quite a bit of trouble. It's either an incorrect part that I was able to make work or they manufactured it incorrectly. I had the same countersunk screw hole here, the same little detent here, but at this end it was reversed on the new part. So this small little detent which is supposed to go into that hole there to help align this bearing plate, same as this top detent, you know, which is sticking out on the other side, like right here. Um, it was it was larger also. So the, so the detent that was here was larger. I had to shave it off, drilled out the hole, and then, if that wasn't bad enough, the piece was bowed, so the new piece was bowed down and it was rubbing on the top of the armature which has a washer under there and it's a pretty tight fitting motor and the thing was we couldn't even spin the armature I had to file out 
this area here had a, a wider file than this and I'm filing it back and forth for about 10 minutes oh man it was terrible but I think it's gonna work we got the motor reinstalled that's a lot quieter isn't it That's the number, 97 Lionel post-war coal elevator, restored, ready to go on the layout. You're going to need an extra bag of coal with one of these guys. It makes a mess. There's coal pieces everywhere. Thanks again for tuning into the Train Zone channel. Hope you learned some repair tips. Uh, you know, always trying to share some of the stuff that I've learned with the railroad community. And uh, I think I'm up to almost 24 videos now. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can't just subscribe. You have to click the red bell next to that to stay subscribed because they won't send you all the new videos. Thanks, folks.